All right, so we're going to follow the money. Here is the Bitcoin address that was Falcon Coin's address of their wallet. Okay. They had 21,380 transactions. They received a total of 1,116 BTC. Their final balance, they, they, they drained this whole account. Okay. All right, so we're going to start following the money. Let's first filter this newest. Um, sent, received. Let's see, sent. All right, so let's follow the money here. March 1st. So here they're sending out Bitcoin from this wallet. Sending it out. Let's see where the majority went. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I might be reading this wrong, guys. But if anyone knows anything about this, you know, you can go check it out. Um, I will put this information in the end of this video in the description. Um... Let's just find a big one and then we'll... There gotta be somewhere where they sent the majority. Let's, let's find it. Unless they, they were smart enough to just liquidate it into tons and tons and tons of, of wallets. You know, like eight, 9,000 at a time. Like here's 85 ETC. So let me just click this, see where this heads. Um, address, boom. Two transactions, total receipt, final balance. They drain that. So they sent two addresses and then they drained out from there into other addresses. Okay. So if anyone understands the blockchain, what someone needs to do is start following the money. Find a destination. Okay, now they're getting bigger transactions here. Find where it went to. Okay, here's the 27th. All right, so they had money coming in, but where did it go out? That's my that's the thing. Unless unless and and I think this is what it is. Um I might be wrong, but I'm probably right. The um unless they hooked an external hard wallet like a Trezor or a uh, Nano up to this wallet and pulled it all out at once I'm not sure if that would show a transaction though let's see let's see if we could change this let's check this mm-hmm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how this works with this um, this blockchain here. It's a little different than Ethereum. Um, Ethereum's easier to follow. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Hold on. We have another wallet here. Same wallet. Okay. Now, how do you find where the money went? That's the question. I know there's people out there who know how to do this. So what they need to do is follow the money to the final destination. If it went to a, an exchange, contact the exchange. Let them know what happened and see if they could put a freeze on the account until we can start um, some sort of suit or some sort of charges to get the ball rolling to get our money back. Um, oh, wait, what's this? Show scripts and Coinbase. All right, let's go back here and see what this means. So it's unspent output. Let's see what we got here. 1.2 BTC output. Let's see where this went. 
total received, final balance. Okay, so I have no, oh, here we go. What's this? Uh oh, what did I come across? What did I come across? Uh, okay, here we go. We have 5 BTC. 5 BTC output, all the different output, 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 output. Here's different addresses. Okay, so these could be customer addresses. It could be customer addresses. Seven twenty. This is a. Uh, this was in February. So anyway, if anyone knows how to follow the trail, any out, anyone out there knows the blockchain well and knows how to follow the trail, feel free to start investigating. If you were robbed in this uh, scheme, and you know, leave the comment below and let me know. I mean. Maybe we can get something here and we can stop these funds from leaving out of the blockchain um, or, or locate where the end result is, who has the money. Um, anyway, that's, that's about it. I'm going to give up on this because this is just crazy, but I'm going to leave the link to these the wallet address is below and if anyone out there knows how to do this please you know contribute to the cause and and figure it out and let's see what we can do thanks guys